the wild bush cat of North America, prowls through your front yard, searching for its, its lunch, probably breakfast, because this has been filmed in the morning. It seems to be searching. It's quite content at the moment. It's listening for any nearby mice that could be scuttling around through the fields. Dead grass and fallen trees. All he sits there listening to the chirping of a bird. It's high up in the tree, but the cat cannot reach it. There are mice that prowl through the woods in British Columbia. The cat is searching for for its next meal. It's, it's contently listening to the sound of a bird coming from another direction. <gasps> and suddenly, out of nowhere, comes another cat. Heading toward the exact same space as the bush cat, calmly chewing on a piece of grass. Listening for any nearby food that could be scuttling around or Calmly fluttering down to a fallen tree or something. I'm also curious if we can get it to look at the camera. The two cats are not exactly in full contact with each other, but as you can see, the bush cat is slowly moving from behind that dead tree up at the top. The black bush cat, or just cat, whatever, is sitting in the grass, waiting. Hmm. The white bird flutters up into a tree, unaware of the cat's low grin. It probably is quite aware. But the cats are most likely not aware of its presence either. The cat is really stalking through the grass. In case you don't notice, its fur isn't actually entirely black. You look very closely. See its fur. It's actually black and a mix of very dark brown. It's quite fascinating. Usually often leads plush toys to be mistaken that it is in fact a black cat. Ooh. Where's the bush cat? Oh, here it is. Behind the tree, two cats are practically in contact with each other. As you can see, the bush cat's tail is moving. It's right there. That's its tail. It's sitting there contently under a tree. Oh, there she goes. You can see her through the brush of the tree, calmly and patiently waiting for her next meal. It's awesome. oh. Black cat is walking on top of the tree and shaking it. This could probably make the bush cat Or perhaps not. The bush cat come out from behind the tree and is now still searching for its prey. Black cat on the other hand is way over there, closer to the forest. Bush cat is walking away into the deeper reaches of the backyard. Where there's still a bit of snow left. Soon it could even be out of reach of the camera. can find to eat. You can see its cute fuzzy face from here. As you can see we're filming from atop a cliff and that's where the animal is. Right down there. Not knowing we're up here watching it. What's it looking at? <laughs> Meanwhile the black cat is just snoozing under a tree, nearby, waiting for her next prey. A bit of a lazy animal, most likely, perhaps, like a lion, lounging about in the sunlight. She's just calmly sitting there. You're probably aware that we're using this camera to watch her. The bush cat is still standing around, listening for a bird. Perhaps a mouse. Woods. That cat is 
SDGs Waiting patiently and calmly Senses a nearby plush approaching, as you can not hear from the camera, but she can clearly sense. And moves on back to snoozing. Lelouch Cat, on the other hand, is still just roaming around by a tree. It's actually quite hard to see her from up on this cliff, but she's still down there and is still waiting for her prey. So I'm doubtful she'll find any. And of course, as for the other cat, she's just going to contently snooze in the sunlight as cats love to. They're very lazy animals sometimes, but still, that's just cats. And from atop this cliff in the woods of British Columbia is Red Fox Studios bringing to you this documentary.